Okay, we're back here live at Oracle Open World. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's The Cube, our flagship program. We go out the events, extract the signal from the noise. Again, big day, day three of three days of live coverage, Oracle Open World. Exciting year this year, Oracle engineered systems, got all the press, ecosystems doing great uh, amongst the Oracle. Four years ago, a little bit different kind of feel there with the ecosystem issues doing great. And of course, the big news, the America's Cup, where Larry Ellison is watching his boat try to win the biggest comeback. He blew off the keynote last night, so that was a, was a big, big story here uh, this week. We're with Annie McClure, CTO, our next guest, Global Database Technologies. Welcome to theCUBE. Hi, John, how you doing? So, so EMC, um, you're with EMC. A lot of database technology uh, coming out of EMC. I mean, obviously big data and the storage. You know, Absolutely. As Dave says, storage is like spinning rust. <laughs> um, but with flash, um, converged infrastructure, portfolio of solutions, yep. and a, a horizontal stack, as Joe Tucci calls it. EMC's got some serious chops on the database side. We Absolutely. met a bunch last night. Um, folks with great experience from Sybase, or, you know, real deep, domain expertise and database, that's your group? Absolutely, that's, that's my group. Yes, I work for uh, Brian Gallagher in our enterprise storage division, and uh, we're focused on uh, global database technologies, so we care a lot about uh, all of the databases that our customers run, so whether that's Oracle, Sybase, DB2, or SQL Server, um, uh, and we're optimizing those systems and uh, giving them better value through the functionality that you can get uh, within an, a VMAX array or a VNX array. So most recently, this past year, we've been focused on the VBlock, a uh, specialized system that Joe Tucci talked about uh, at the keynote earlier this week. So that specialized system um, for high performance database workloads. So that's where we're taking advantage of our flash technology. So our extreme uh, SF card uh, and our extreme software cache that we've now put into the server layer that's driving 3.7 million sustained flash read IOPS for databases. It could be Oracle, it could be SQL Server, it could be DB2. And we're seeing, we were measuring our latencies, which are less than uh, 500 microseconds. So uh, we're, start, we're seeing some really uh, great performance through that and we're offering it as an integrated stack through uh, VCE. So that VBlock specialized system. So it runs actually physical, so it runs uh, Linux, so it doesn't have to run VMware. You can run it virtual as well. So we're seeing quite a bit of great performance from that. You know, this is our fourth Oracle Open World, the Cube, uh, which everyone's watching right now, is, was started in 2010 uh, at Oracle, uh, at EMC World. And then Sapphire, we went to Sapphire that, that next week, and then Oracle later on the year. We've been around four years, so we kind of watched the progression of, of, of the ecosystem around Oracle. We also watched the emergence of VCE, which at the time was kind of like not really well understood back four yep. years ago. And you high end, we talked to Levi's and all your top clients. But the notion of what you guys are doing with VBlock is really interesting, virtualizing the environment. Absolutely. Sanjay on the past, who, who was the CIO at EMC. So you guys have had a lot of track record. So a lot of people just don't know the, the extent of uh, EMC's depth in this, and investment in this area. Um, so I want you to take, take a quick second to explain to the folks out there um, who might have the perception, oh, you guys are Johnny come lately into the outside of storage, into this now converged right, sure, software-driven, sure. software-led infrastructure. So explain to the folks out there some of the depth and expertise you guys have with the software approach with the database. Yeah, Again, you absolutely. can't just throw bodies at this. It's got a unique skill set, domain absolutely. expertise. Just share some color on that, please. Yeah, well I think that um, I've been in the database world for the last 25 years, and I think that uh, the databases have gotten very large, uh, and you have to deal with that. So the last thing to virtualize in any data center is that database. So now we're offering the movement of, of those physical databases onto x86. So, and do that physically and then virtualize. So the amount of compute power and memory that can, we can bring into uh, the UCS server, you gain that. And then you'll see it was announced earlier this week to our new plugins for uh, VMAX and for VNX, which uh, you open up right in Oracle Enterprise Manager, and it helps you to know exactly where your data is and how to manage that. And then we've worked really tightly with Oracle on our replication technologies with snapping and cloning and creating dev environments for Oracle and, and uh, all of that. And then we also do tiering. So a piece of the EMC uh, value proposition that's brought to the table both on VMAX and VNX is fully automated storage tiering. 
and we automate that with one of our tools called Database Classify, which is really a DBA tool. So if you want, an, if you want your I.O. to be up in Flash uh, and you're driving it from the database, we do that for Oracle and SQL Server and then as DB2 as well. So Obviously as a CTO, you got to have your hands on the wheel in terms of the technology under the hood, as well as have a good feel for the marketplace. The Extreme I.O. acquisition was one that was not a big number, but it was, you know, it was kind of still a big number, but not like the David Goulden you know, billion dollar number that he normally <laughs> does. Like a data sure, domain. absolutely. Um, so there was a lot of speculation there was going to be a lot of stuff added in with Extreme IO. What's the status of Extreme IO? How is that fitting into the big picture? Sure, so Extreme IO is really not my particular area of expertise, but it's certainly, so you can interview others for that uh, area of expertise, but absolutely Flash Everywhere is our strategy. So dealing with all flash arrays to deliver the performance that's needed. And in fact, <laughs> under VCE again, they came out with a specialized system for VDI that's all based on an extreme IO flash array. It's not my area of expertise again, but okay. they're driving that uh, area. But you'll see us with all, all flash arrays, flash PCIe cards and servers, flash in the storage arrays, et cetera. So let's talk about vBlock, right? So um, you got VMware doing their things, so put VMware out on the side, but vBlock in itself was a great vision, uh, executing well, doing well as far as Joe Tucci's reporting the numbers. Um, they're doing, it's doing great. Absolutely. But now you got OpenStack, you got the new cloud formats going on, so there's a lot of challenges outside the high-end implementations where the mid, mid mainstream market wants a vBlock. Right. Or they want orchestration, they want service management. These things are coming to, into a clearer picture for enterprises. Yes. What's the plan, what's going on there? Give us the update on vBlock, because vBlock is a really great high-end solution. Is it coming into the mid-range? What's I happening? think it's beginning to address all of those uh, particular customer venues. So certainly there's customers today that still want to roll their own on uh, server, uh, SAN and storage configurations, and there's absolutely something to be said for the integrated vertical stack, and that's really what uh, vBlock brings to the table. So it puts uh, the server, the networking, and the storage all in one unit, fully integrated, fully tested, non-disruptive upgrades, et cetera, and that's really, as you go into dealing with large volumes of data in a data center, you want to be able to just automatically provision, automatically procure, et cetera, in that environment, and it makes it easy to manage. Talk so about certainly. vBlock uh, for high-performance databases around the accelerating around the Oracle environment. What do you guys have done with vBlock within an Oracle environment? Yeah, I'd have to say our special sauce is with our uh, extreme software cache. So we got that stream, extreme software cache to work with uh, um, the PCIe flashcards called Extreme SF, and um, that's where the real magic is. So it's, consider it kind of like the microcode that runs a PCIe card, and um, we've gotten that to work uh, quite nicely with Oracle Rack, and then uh, it knows about the persistency of writes, et cetera, down into the storage. So whether that's VMAX or VNX, and we've been able to qualify that for those environments and drive and so that kind of So you feel really good about the Oracle environment right now with, with vBlock? Absolutely, yep, yep. Well, anybody that needs 3.7 million of sustained I.O. Uh, per second, you know, <laughs> that, that, that really talks to itself, right? And uh, 32 gigabytes a second of throughput, and then yeah. uh, we're seeing uh, 21 terabytes on the data load rates for data warehouses, so it really is quite a nice solution. For the folks as old as, old as I am who know the old, old EMC, if you look at the marketing campaigns from the 90s, the speed has always been a big EMC. Yeah, EMC we're good at performance. <laughs> performance, so you know, that's impressive benchmarking. Yep, that's, absolutely. Those, those numbers are very impressive. Um, let's talk about the DBA, the DBA, right? So or on stage, Jeremy Burton had the demo. Um, it was a great demo. Sam was up there doing the demo. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, so it's a DBA focus issue, which is good, because a lot of it DBAs is. out there saying, hey, yep. I want to do more things. You know, you're in the database world, you know what's going on. DBAs are, need to do more, right? So the role of the DBA is changing. How Absolutely. Do you, how do you personally see that? I mean, put your, put your hat on, personal hat on, and as an industry participant, someone who has been around the block here sure. in that area, what's going on with the DBA? What are they going to turn into? Uh, brokering, pushing buttons on a screen, self-service catalog, all yeah, the above? I'm, I'll, now I'll probably go out on a scary limb here for you, but um, you know, we used to have the storage administrator that was managing uh, one or two terabytes of storage. Now they have to manage hundreds of terabytes of storage. 
you had to virtualize that, right? And then system administrators were managing five or six systems. Now they're managing hundreds. You had to virtualize that. I believe the DBA of tomorrow is going to be managing hundreds of databases, not just your three or four. And you're going to see their world have to virtualize. It's the next layer up in the stack that's going to virtualize. And you've got to have the automation tools there to support that for the DBA. And so yeah, it's going to be a little bit more control over that infrastructure layer so that they can do their jobs, deliver on backup recovery, deliver on workload sharing between data centers, deliver on performance, uh, deliver on backup, the whole routine. It's just going to be a different game, I think, for the DBA of tomorrow. So we're focused on it. My, my customer is absolutely the DBA. I wish you had more time. Uh, when I know you got a hard stop. We'll try to keep you for every single minute. So I'm going to try to go up against the, 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 the hour here. I know you got another appointment. No problem. It's great to have you in the queue. Yeah, great You're to be here. You're a tech athlete, as Dave and I always say. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm like getting a little intoxicated on this great, great uh, action here. But I got to ask you about the data science piece, because now you're talking about analytics are also oh, involved. Oh, sure. So yeah, absolutely. So now it's like you got a little bit of big data in there. I mean, the, the, the DBA is going to be the air traffic control for the data, right? Yes. They're going to they're have it's a dashboard. the next control point, yep. And if you're going to virtualize everything, you got automation. Automation. Yep. You still got the runways and all the different databases out there. So right. how does the analytics play into all this? Oh, absolutely. So uh, we are working with uh, solving the analytics problem. So thanks, <laughs> that, that is my future. Uh, so, uh, but it really is a journey for our enterprise client to get to big data. Um, so clearly we're trying to drive that with our pivotal initiative, et cetera. Um, and from a database perspective, you're dealing with structured databases, unstructured databases, in-memory data structures today, and it's opening up the world of kind of the um, traditional database up into the now unstructured Hadoop, NoSQLs, et cetera. And you know, let's go back to when uh, the world said the mainframe was going to go away. Right, remember that? Yeah. Mainframe it, never went away, right? It's it just shrunk. It, yeah, exactly. I got it, you know, and then so you have second platform here that's defined by IDC, and, and in that second platform are your traditional databases Oracle, Sybase, SQL Server, DB2, and then in the world of third platform, it's all about Hadoop, NoSQL, Open, et cetera, and you got to make all those worlds come together. Okay, let's stay so on So I own that. Let's stay on the limb now. <laughs> Since we're out on the limb, you went out on the limb, we're going to stay on the limb, so uh -oh. you have virtualized storage. Don't go shawing it off, virtualized, though. Virtualized, <laughs> no, never. It's the cube. <laughs> yeah, safety net. Safety you know, net, that's safety, safety net. net here. So virtualized storage, virtualized database, what's beyond, what's that next level of virtualization? Virtualize the data, is it like compiler kind of stuff? What's going on with the Well, software? I'll tell you what, your driver of that is the data scientist that's running the analytical query. So if you're not offering uh, the technology to the federated query that goes across all three platforms and delivers that information back to the data scientist, that's the true driver of the next customer. The next customer for us uh, is really the data scientist that's trying to deliver on that federated analytical query. There it is, right there, instrumentation. I'm going to yep. go on a limb and predict that <laughs> instrumentation of data will be a big deal. I like that, John. <laughs> that's an excellent, that's okay, an excellent Andy word McClure, for that. CTO of the EMC's uh, database group. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Great group Absolutely. of people, I just want to say, and meeting the folks from EMC. You guys have a lot of good guys in the, in your, on your team. Um, some serious chops you guys have built out. Great, yeah, great job. Yeah, we have. Yep. VC's doing great, it's going to go mainstream. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. That's Andy McClure here, CTO at EMC, we'll be right back. Awesome, thanks John. Awesome, good job.